Hi, I am Eva from Mini Orange. Today, we will see how the attribute mapping works in the WordPress SSO plugin. Attributes are user details saved in your identity provider. Attribute mapping allows you to retrieve user attributes from your identity provider and map them to WordPress user attributes. Let's see how we can configure attribute mapping in the plugin. After you have successfully configured the plugin, click on the test configuration button to test your SSO connection on successful test connection. You will see the set of attributes received from your identity provider. Now to configure the attribute mapping, let's navigate to the attribute role mapping tab. In the attribute mapping tab, you can see the attributes received from your identity provider on the right hand side. And these attributes are stored in user meta table whenever the users perform single sign on. You can map attributes like username, email, first name, and many more. While performing single sign-on in your WordPress site, these attributes will get automatically assigned to your WordPress user details. Select the appropriate attribute name from the list as per your requirement. The plugin provides an additional feature to map custom attributes, which means you can map additional IDP attributes which you wish to be included in the user profile. Click on Add Attribute button to add a custom attribute you want to map. You can add any name in the Custom Attribute Name field, and select the IDP attribute from the drop-down that is to be mapped. Enable the toggle for an attribute if you want to display it in the WordPress Users table. Then click on Save. Let's see how this feature works. Visit the WordPress site in the Incognito window. You will have to log in through your IDP credentials. Enter your IDP credentials. Click on the Sign In button. After authentication, you will be redirected to the homepage of your WordPress site. Once SSO is successfully completed, users will be assigned the attributes as per the configuration made in the plugin. We can check this by going back to the admin dashboard. Click on the Users tab. We will be able to see the attributes that are mapped according to the attribute mapping as configured. These attributes will be updated every time a user performs the SSO. You can check out other features in the paid plugin like advanced role mapping, single logout etc. Add-ons like SCIM, Azure, Salesforce user sync, page restriction and many more. Or you can contact us at SAML support.